Joining me now from Orlando is Rasha Mubarak. She is a board member of the Muslim Women's Organization. The Muslim Woman Organization is fairly a young organization. It's been around about five years. We just recently became a nonprofit 501c3 organization. It was just only a few years ago when a group of girls collaborated and said they wanted to do charity work together in the Central Florida community to really convey what Islam truly is. Naturally, in any faith, there's this assumption of homogeneity that we're all alike, that we're all the same. But there's so much diversity, like in any other faith, in Islam of women. There's doctors, there's lawyers, there's identifiably Muslims that wear hijab, there's not hijabis, there's stay-at-home moms. And when I tell you there's something powerful and empowering at the Muslim Women Organization, it's beyond words. When I first started and being involved in a lot of these movements locally, there was this sincerity that I can actually feel within the presence of the Muslim Women Organization. With the recent rhetoric of Islamophobia or even the simple microaggressions that we are facing here locally in Central Florida or even across the nation, you know, it's important to understand that this is the reality of especially of our Muslim women, especially of our Muslim women that are covered that do wear hijab. They do face these challenges when going to grocery stores or, you know, in the workplace. Our main focuses are community community service, outreach, and personal development. We've been doing this for five years. A group of us started just as people who grew up in the United States, people who always had leadership roles in some way in school, through our clubs, through youth groups. Even in college, I was the president of an MSA. So we were always leading. And once we left that environment, once we grew up, we found that it's a little bit harder to find your place because you're in this huge community that has institutions already in place and men and, you know, even other women running things. And it's hard as somebody new and a woman to find your place. We work across boundaries, so we work with all segments of the community. One of our biggest projects is the Hope in a Basket Thanksgiving Turkey Drive. And it's a project where we put together packages, Thanksgiving dinner packages for families in need. And we work with the Orange County Public School Systems, as well as Osceola County and Seminole County Public Schools. And we partner with United Way to distribute those packages to families in need for Thanksgiving. So at the Muslim Women's Organization, we strive to provide support to the community regardless of race, religion, or background. During this past Ramadan, we provided over 400 families in the Central Florida area the essentials to spend their month of Ramadan. We are slowly growing as an organization and each year we have more and more requests for these different projects. We offer lots of training and development programs for our members. We offer lots of health and well-being lectures and seminars including self-defense training, uh, personal fitness, I'm a personal trainer myself, so we have these skill sets within our existing structure and we also bring in speakers like how we brought in Osama Cannon um, out from California to help us further uh, bring ties into the community and to learn and, and bring in new methods and new ways to really take our community to another level and, and enrich our women so that we can continue to give back to our community here in Central Florida in many different ways. Get involved and make a difference.